Hey guys, today we're going to do a little update on the G2 reverse osmosis water drop water filter. So it's been a year since I installed this and this is the faucet coming out here and I haven't had any issues which is great. It works every time so far and delivers really nice clean water. So just recently it started beeping and if I turn it on, you guys can maybe hear, it's under here. So we do have like a beeping sound and there's a red light here on the carbon filter. So the carbon filter needs to be replaced and turn that off. And so with this model you get two filters. You get carbon filter and you get the reverse osmosis filter here. So the carbon filter you have to replace about once a year or I guess whenever it beeps at you. And for me it was actually right at a year. And the RO filter here should need replacement for about two years. So the great part about that is that the carbon filter is actually much cheaper than the other one. So this makes it quite a cheap maintenance for a couple years until you do have to replace that one. But yeah as you guys can see my installation here everything is fine. I had no water leaks whatsoever everything is good all the plumbing is perfect and not leaking so yeah so this is only about 35 bucks believe it or not for a whole filter and here it says it's 12 months or about 1100 gallons of water that it can process so yeah it comes in this box I got mine from Amazon by the way links are in the description Let's see it comes very nicely packed in this soft foam and there's the filter itself do also have some kind of instructions looks like okay it's the installation instructions and it tells us what the model is the G2 CF for carbon filter so because of the way the G2 is made it's actually a leak free design meaning if you pull out the filter it's not just gonna leak at you so it should be as simple as just unscrewing it pulling it out and then putting the new one in and then after that all we got to do is reset the filter by holding the filter life reset indicator yeah very simple process so let's go ahead and open up this new one come with a nice little cover here so we got all of our o-rings so yeah these things are very nicely made and very convenient the way you just change them like this it's got a pretty good weight to it too all right so let's just go ahead without doing anything else and go ahead and unscrew it so we're just gonna counterclockwise the filter well, that one's really easy actually and there it goes it just pops right out this thing's even more heavy I guess it's got water in it so there is a little bit of water obviously but nothing serious and nothing's coming out from there so yeah we'll grab the new one and insert it it should go in about right here a little dot right there it should line up with the arrow here so then we're just going to kind of wiggle it in while pushing it and then turn it and it should lock right in and just like that so yeah pretty simple our filter is changed and our old filter I guess we can dispose of so let's go ahead and reset the filter life by holding this looks like touch capacitive button right here so I'm just gonna hold it so once you hear the a beep you can see it flashing if you click it one time you'll go to the other one so you can reset either the RO filter or the CF so we're resetting the CF so let's go ahead and hold it some more And there it goes. So once you keep holding it on the CF, you know, it'll reset it. So now it's blue again. So yeah, it's simple as that. Not very hard. Now the only other thing left to do, and here on the manual it says, you want to run the new filter at least or about five minutes. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And you can see it's kind of losing pressure because the filter was empty. But it's going just fine now. I don't really see any kind of carbon or anything coming out of it but yeah we're just gonna leave it on for about five minutes so we can clean itself and I can hear it sounds a little bit different I think there might be some air in there that it's trying to get through but yeah guys this G2 here is really amazing for the value that it brings so the whole kit is about 300 bucks and I did a separate video of installing the whole thing with connecting all the hoses and wires so if you want to check that video out I'll have it here at the end and if you do need a new filter for your G2 check out the links in the description and also if you're interested in buying the whole thing there'll be a link for that too so it's been about five minutes let's go ahead and turn that off all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed this video of the G2 changing the filter and just the overall update if you did like it then hit that like button and if you like videos like this and you want to see what else i do on this channel then stay tuned and as always guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one